Okay, so this is an emergency video, emergency whatever, because I just saw a tweet that said, uh, a catchy Persona 5 is not a victim. And this, of course, is correct. Um, and I, I shouldn't be surprised that, you know, the Persona 5 fan base is too stupid to understand uh, how their own power system works, but uh, here we are. Uh, okay. So let me, let me let me explain to you how the metaverse works in Persona 5. So it's an alternate reality that you know the party members could access by going on their phone, and it takes them uh, like a few seconds to get there, uh, based on the gameplay. Maybe it's instant, but it, it seems to take a few seconds given as how, as to how Akechi was able to take pictures of the party members uh, when they went to um, fucking Okumura's palace. This is this is a, this is a fact. It takes a few seconds to to uh, to get there. This is just, no. So, <laughs> and and let me let me even describe the metaverse. It is a dangerous place that physically tires you out. Um, Joker cannot do anything after he got, after he goes there, and um, not only does it tire you out, it's also incredibly deadly because they can just kill you in there. Um, and if you know, I think. Like, like you die in there. I think may maybe you die in real life. Maybe like um, you just have a mental breakdown in real life once you get out of there. But uh, point being, like the, the you know, big idea here is that um, man, and I, I, I really gotta make this as, as clear and as simple as possible for these dullards. Uh, okay, so if, if 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 you can send someone to a alternate hell world where they instantly die, then there's no reason for you to be an assassin. Like, they, they, they like, you, you can fucking teleport with, with, with the metaverse. Did you know that? I mean, we don't know how the time dilation works exactly, but even, even if time passes exactly the same as it does in the real world, you can, what's stopping you from going to the metaverse, um, walking somewhere and then popping out? Because in the game, they always, um, enter and exit from the same position because well technically you are able you're moving throughout the same space but in a different you know dimension or something so you know the, God, you know, the game comes so close to actually like knowing like like no like, i don't know people just they don't know how their own power system works because at any point the catcher could have just dropped shido into the metaverse and solved everything if you needed money you could have went there and fought shadows unless um, you know, the money we get in the game um, from beating Shadows is just like all like just just for mechanical reasons. So even outside of that, he still has magic powers. You don't need to kill people for, for your... Yeah. And, and they try to claim that he's being manipulated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that this fruitcake, Akechi, my fruitcake, you know, my character is seriously getting manipulated by a... Uh, what's his face? I, okay, so... Um, Shido. So the only explanations for, from this point onward is that A, Akechi is a fucking idiot who can't see that he's being manipulated by a guy who does not pretend that he isn't evil. I mean, he's bald for Christ's sake. Um, and or uh, op option B, um, Akechi just liked killing people. And I, I'm willing to lean towards the fact that he just liked killing people because at the very least, he's just a bad person and I just like fucking idiot. I don't, I don't, I, so sorry, I don't want my, my villain to be a, a, a goddamn moron. But I guess he's just a scrunkly little baby who can't do anything wrong because he gets redeemed in the last five seconds of the game. Like, I mean, yes, Akechi doesn't make any sense, and I think I've said this before, uh, but nah, I'll say it again, Akechi's a stupid fucking character. Um, the, the only reason, you know, I, I, I like him so much. It's because he has you know, just a, it's a fun voice actor. He's just a good voice actor, okay? That is my big reason because, you know, actually, and no, even you know, earlier today, I saw something that said they were nasty because um, in the, apparently in the cutscene, they um, they have Haru, uh, Akechi, and Futaba sitting next to each other in the Morana car. And, you, and they're like, oh, that's so crazy because, you know, Akechi killed their parents. And, like, and I'm really thinking of them, like, these fucking monkeys are so close to discovering how to make fire. They're so close to, to realizing that this game has dog shit writing. Because, um, you know, the fact that, you know, a character killed someone's, uh, fucking, um, relative would normally be a big thing. But, 
It just isn't. And you know where else that uh, happened? Fucking late stage Game of Thrones. Um, what's his face? Uh, uh, Davos. Well, not really. Um, his son gets blown up by uh, the dwarf, the imp, the Tyrion. And it, it, they just don't bring it up, really. Like, he, he's not, like, mad or anything. He's just kind of cool. Because that would get in the way of the larger plot. And you can't have characters get in the way of the plot. It's, that's that's bad, right? Cool. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's it. It's on a 5 is a horrible fucking game.